Okay, if you saw the winds of change piece, you'll recognize these, the scrap cutoffs from a local metal building construction company. You know, I'm not going to go through the process of how I salvage these. Basically, I just cut the sides off and then try to get off as much of the paint and rust as I can. That's what they end up looking like. Nine inch wide strips. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to make this, this piece, this sculpture. It's going to be completely made out of this recycled material. So, I've got these. Let's start uh, forming them. I'm going to get the shape of the sculpture. So, It'd be a lot easier if I didn't have a roller. So if you know anybody that wants to donate one, See what I'm doing.
all the pieces formed. And a little pipe idea, you know, makeshift roller, if you would, seemed to work out pretty good. It was still hard to do some of these uh, tight bends, and there's a lot of wrestling the steel involved, but it worked. Now I just gotta go around and tack all this together, um, and then I can start welding some of the pieces up, and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my supports uh, to make it a little stronger, to stiffen it up some, uh, so whenever you stand it up, the weight doesn't collapse in that one leg. Uh, and I can start cutting the caps for both sides and welding those on. So, still a little ways to go, but it's getting there. All right, well, I got the sides on, uh, welded it all up, and it took seven days straight of grinding to get everything detailed out. And get all the joints ground smooth and because I'm using recycled metal, it does have some imperfections in the steel itself. Stuff sit outside in the, in the weather for three years, so it's kind of expected. But that gives it character. It's part of the piece. So now, just have to go around and make sure I touch every edge, all the sharp edges and corners are off. Double check everything. I did get the base welded on too. Um, First, I tried an eighth-inch plate. Or, yeah, eighth-inch plate wasn't quite strong enough for what I wanted, so I had to sandwich two of them together to make a quarter inch. Gives it a little more stability, and it will be bolted to the concrete. And uh, I need to paint it. Okay, what you didn't see was the three weeks that it took to prime, paint, several coats of paint and then several coats of clear coat. And after that, I had to polish everything with all the different angles, it was quite challenging. Most of it had to be done by hand. You couldn't get the buffer in there. Uh, especially even in the circle, it just didn't work. And then polishing it. Um, all I have to do now is finish waxing it to give it that extra little protection. And uh, she's ready to go. We're gonna take it out and get some pictures of it at the local college today. Um, so I can put together my proposal and send it into the contest. And hopefully you'll see this on a public art exhibition in Colorado Springs in the middle of summer of 2008. Uh, cross your fingers. A lot of work went into this piece, close to 300 hours. Uh, this is one of the biggest and most challenging pieces that I've done. Um, but I'm really pleased with it. I think it turned out great. I love the color, I love the lines. Um, it conveys the statement that I wanted. Motion and movement, color just sets it off. Uh, I really love this piece, it turned out great. Uh, very challenging though, very challenging. Just trying to engineer it to where I could get it the size that I wanted and still be able to move it around by myself, you know, have an overhead crane or forklift so and it weighs close to 200 pounds definitely got my workout moving this thing around but uh, yeah it turned out great I hope you liked it I hope you like watching the video uh, again I'm Jeremy Cooper this is Art by Cooper and you can see this along with other pieces of mine at artbycooper.com thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time